Hello and welcome to another video. If you're new around here, my name is the Diamond Bullet, and today we are reviewing this Iveco truck here. So, to get the specifics, firstly, I need to make sure my truck isn't rolling. Um, truck manager, once again, here are all my trucks. It's actually the same truck as this one, but it's not that one because that's a different decaled one. I'm just buying the trucks completely new. Um, upgrading them as much as I can. So this has 560 horsepower, so it's got more than the Renault T that we drove. Not as much as the Volvo, but still more than the DAF. So this is the Iveco Stratus Active Sup uh, Active Space Super. So that's a that's a flipping mouthful. So all these trucks that I'm trying um, so far have been the trucks that are at the end of the list. And. Um, so today we're doing some, we are delivering some pressure tanks, um, we've got seven hours to do a four hour journey, um, actually I need them on, I need that off. So I did have to move out of somebody else's way, because they was coming in. So I haven't driven this truck either with a load. So I don't know how this is going to go. Um So, all the trucks, like I said, I buy are like brand new, so I've just bought them from the shop and upgraded them and driven there. So, I don't really know how any of these are going to handle. All these videos are currently being recorded in Iceland. Simply because I like driving in Iceland on this game. I am taking a boring route, I think. I am going to a place I don't think I've delivered to before. Um, picking, up a place, uh, picking up from a place I've delivered to before. But not a place that I've picked up loads before. So... There's always a um, chance um, that the trucks that I use will be used in um, the Ice Road series. Um, I will let you know at the end of the trip if that truck seems worthy. I don't think this truck is worthy because it doesn't have similar amounts of horsepower as the um, the Volvo or anything like that, but it would be a good truck to have for the first season because it's a new season. May as well start off with some basic trucks, and um, yeah. I am aware that I'm not really getting views on these videos but that does not bother me because some people would like certain trucks and would like to know if the trucks are actually worth getting in the game. Anyway the interior is my basic interior, got the um, Goodyear blimp over there. Um, another silent engine braking truck this one. It's loud on accelerating, like it sounds like a beast. And I know that the audio is not exactly the best for the game. Um, because 
if it was higher, then you'd hear it through the headphones and you wouldn't hear my voice. So, I do believe we do have some nice views on this journey, like, but I'm not sure because I've not taken this journey before. I can only honestly tell you what I think is a nice view. Like, straight ahead is a beautiful view. I think I am going to do another series after this. And series of react um, reviewing the trucks. Um, where I just go around looking for viewpoints. And if it becomes summer, then I'm going to go to the Middle East. Um, in the game, so that's like Egypt area. I'll just show you that on the map after this video. Um, I'm going to the Middle East and do it there. So this is the winter. The UK will be um, spring. Um, Middle East will be summer. And probably like France area for autumn so there is a boat there I'm going to take a prediction and say that I've driven down this road but not going in from this angle I will only tell if I've driven down this road when I get to a certain point a certain point that I believe I have visited in real life and I should have a photograph somewhere of this place in real life or one of my older cameras that's not even the camera that I've got here at this point so it's like really old because it was yeah I was in year 10 at the time so it was like what so 10 11 12 13 um, about five years ago, this is the place I've um, I was talking about. Just place that I've visited. Um, or well, the place that I've driven past anyway. I'm not sure if this toll road was here, but I was in a bus, so I can't remember. <laughs> I do believe this is a place I visited on that Iceland trip, so. I mean, it's struggling a little bit on this because it's going from pretty much zero up this hill. So, Drives well though. For another truck that I didn't ever want to drive because of its looks. <laughs> but I am going to be reviewing all the trucks in the game. All the trucks will be fully upgraded. Um, for those who are wondering so 
this is fully upgraded um, but as far as this truck can be upgraded I obviously prefer this um, truck to the uh, Renault but I still don't like it. <laughs> it would be a nice truck to use for the ice road, the series, but I just don't think it'll have the power to make it up the middle road. So, if I do put this in the ice road, I will try the middle road and like towards the end of this series I might revisit this truck and take it up the middle road as a test see if it can actually do it but I probably I'll probably still use a load but it's not going to be like a heavy load it's just going to be a basic load Um, so, so far this isn't struggling as much as the um, Renault, it only struggled on that one hill because it didn't have enough time to gain the speed for it. This is a nice little truck for beginners, if you want a beginning truck, I'd say go for the Iveco range. Um, you're probably going to hear me say that during the next Iveco video. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to go through the list and I'm going to go from end to the first truck that appears. And yes, that does include doing a caravan load with the scout car. So, just putting that out there. I'm so glad that you can't see these Discord notifications that I'm getting. Because <laughs> people are strange. I know it's a random time to be yawning, it's currently half three in the afternoon, but I was up to like 4am recording these videos. So, this is actually just a little extra fact about this video. I just joined the game and started this video pretty much. Joined this game, bought this truck, picked up the load and then started the video. So I actually haven't got any driving in beforehand. All these trips are done off Trucks Book as well, so... If you ever join GVIRP Trucking, link is in the description. Um, you can see that the loads are there on my page. And I should be able to see everyone else's loads. You can see the loads that people complete as they complete them as well, so that's pretty cool. I mean, remember that from when I was doing bullet storm trucking. Um, ooh, this was unexpected. The speed limit is 50 on this road. Just going to put that out there. So I'm not speeding, I don't think. I'm not looking down. Road luggies take so much concentration. Probably how I managed to catch up to this person.
But yeah, I do bolted through those roads because it's fun. And all the bouncing is fun. But if you get motion sick, I wouldn't advise it. So the speed limit is now 25. But the person in front of me is clearly doing over 25. There we go, it's gone up to 50 now. There seems to be some sort of traffic up here. Oh, I see the problem. That guy's trying to make it up here in a Volvo. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's always the China company drivers as well. I've noticed. They always seem to get stuck in silly spots. There we go, I've passed him. I'm not one to be breaking the speed limit either, so... That person's calling me an idiot, but I was like... But I'm not, though. You was going too slow, and I never broke the speed limit, so... You can't exactly report me if he's recording. Because I've done nothing wrong. Just overtaken him because he was going 30. In a 50. So... I didn't do anything wrong, and if I get banned, it's not my fault. I'm just going to submit this video to them. Showing them that it was going far too slow. Which was holding me up. So I had to go around him. Besides, it's not legal to pass someone. Especially if it's clear. No one was coming towards us. No one was behind us.
He didn't damage my load. Well, he did, but only 2% damage on the load. He was coming around a bit fast, and I did see it coming, that's why I stopped. Just good thing that I'm at the delivery. The delivery point. That person just a pro tip drive on the snow. Also, the reason these videos are unedited is so that you guys can actually see the struggle. I am facing the right way, right? No, of course not. <laughs> um, so I'm going to follow these lines. That's the wrong way. So now what I'm going to do, very creatively, is go in at this angle in a minute. Had a head on collision. <laughs> she asked me how the video is going, so I says, has a, had a head on collision. that sentence that that person tried to make. So as you can see it's satisfactory because I got a little bit of damage on it, 2.5%, um, so that just took away some XP and some money, but you know I don't really need the XP or the money because I'm at level uh, 207,381 with 1,410,091,953 experience points. So, <laughs> took me 3 hours 40 minutes in game time, used 100.8 litres of fuel, driven 194 miles, so that seems pretty good, so thank you guys so much for coming out and joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!